So let me share a little something about myself. Um, I love public speaking. I love going to uh, uh, private organizations, nonprofits. Um, I love going to real estate clubs and things like that, only because I've gone to a lot of these organizations, and usually the speakers are a cure for insomnia. You know what I mean? Oh, my God, they're so boring, and they're so monotone, and uh, they say the same thing. And it's a lot of self-grandizement. I love going and entertaining. I'm a ham, okay? Uh, I love going to uh, clubs, making people laugh, sharing the stories, talking about all the dumb things I did, all the mistakes I made, and the successes that I've experienced, and the great relationships and things like that. I love talking about real estate and uh, all the fix-up properties, and mostly about sales and marketing. So I love to go public speaking. It's something it took me a long time to overcome. And by the way, it's probably one of the best um, marketing um, uh, systems you can do. Uh, go out there and speak publicly. I don't care if it's two nuns and a Boy Scouts or a couple thousand people. So every year I do a couple uh, real estate clubs. Uh, my favorite clubs are in San Diego, the SDCIA, and uh, my friend Bill Tan, his real estate club in uh, Los Angeles. So yesterday, this is the story where I was really into, um, I get a phone call from uh, a club in the Southwest. Um, they have desert and cactus there and things like that. Um, and I get a call from the chairman or the uh, head of the, this real estate club, and um, something's really wrong. He sounds like he's mad at me for starters. Uh, you know, he calls me up and, uh, well, we're real particular about the speakers we have to our club. Oh, well, you know, maybe I'm not the right guy or anything. I'm not the, I'm not the sort of speaker who says the first 10 people to the back of the room. I never go there to sell. In fact, when I speak to a club, I give away thousands of dollars of free books and recordings, audio and video. I give away a lot of stuff because I just think it's good marketing. And I think it's tacky to go to a real estate club and try to sell stuff. Um, it's not why I'm there. If people like me and like my products, they're going to go to my webpage and buy them anyway. But first, they're going to get some free stuff from me. So they, they know the quality of the content that they're purchasing. Uh, by the way, a uh, shameless little plug, um, tomorrow I'm releasing brand new uh, my um, uh, How to Overcome the Fear of Sales Phone Calls. It's a brand new package. It's going to be released tomorrow. If you order it today, um, there's a big discount on my webpage, plauddiamond.com. Oh, I hate when people do these commercials. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, but anyway, I had to slide that in. So this guy calls me up and um, he's got a real... You could, he's, it's on the phone. I wish it was on you. I wish it was on Zoom or something because he had a real stink face on the phone. You know when someone calls you up and it's like they're they're having a bad day or they're looking for a fight. Usually when people call me up and want me to speak because there's a lot of usually got to travel, get on planes, rent cars, hotel rooms, a lot of things. There's expenses and time, a lot of time involved. Frankly, when I leave my office to go speak to any real estate club, um, it, it 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 costs me money. OK, but now it's kind of nice. It's on Zoom and stuff like that. You know the reasons why. So anyway, calls me up and uh, well, we're real particular about uh, our speakers and things like that. Well, you know, I'm, maybe I'm the wrong speaker. I like to have a lot of fun. I like to share a lot of information, take questions. I do role plays. I like people to laugh and have fun uh, while they're learning and everything like that. And then he was talking really. God, it's hard to even explain. It's and my whole point is. In sales, the one thing we always teach is when you want to, when you want to sell somebody, um, when you want to get something done, likability is so important, and it's not that hard to do. You pay sincere compliments to people. You know, I went to the guy, you know, on the phone, and he was saying, he was saying all this stuff, and I said, well, if you want to know more about me, I'm pretty open book. Um, I did answer my own phone, by the way, took the call right away. Why don't you go to my YouTube page and do a little homework on me? And then his reply was, well, why don't you do some research on us? You know, it's like, you want me to travel to you to entertain your club so it's more successful. And uh, I, I said to him, I said, I feel like I'm, I'm, a high, I'm a high school or college graduate intern, and I'm here for my first interview. Um, you know, you want things from people. Um, you give them sincere compliments. You give them strokes. You nurture them a little. And, um, and usually you get what you want. I'm about the easiest guy in the world to sell. It should say schmuck on my forehead if you could lift all this hair off my head. Um, but the fun thing is, and I wanted to share this with you guys, um, 
If you're going out, if you're having a bad day, don't make phone calls. If you're looking for a fight, you're not going to make the sale or get what you want in life. I talk to people all day long and I absolutely love it. I love what I'm doing. I love teaching people how to make money from their home and have the life they deserve and the freedom. But I, I wanted to use this phone call just to demonstrate how not, and this is a funny thing. This guy who's head of this club, he's also a realtor and everything. I won't identify him because that wouldn't be right. But the thing about it is, I don't think he's pretty successful because he doesn't know how to speak to people. It's not always so much about knowing all the intricacies of your product or service or everything about real estate. It's important to know some things. It's not that important about marketing because if you do some, if you put out good content, um, like I try to do on YouTube and stuff, people will eventually gravitate to you, especially if you give them incentives, things for free, uh, quality things for free without a sh a schlocky sales spiel. But the most important thing is, how do you speak to people? How, we've lost the ability, and this guy was such an example of how to communicate. You can have so much that you want in life, money, freedom, all, all the things that you want, doing something you love, if you know how to communicate with people. Asking the right questions with stroking and nurturing, paying sincere compliments to people. Make your, your, your objective should be to go out there and make people feel good. And guess what will happen? They'll respond in kind, for the most part, unless they're a stink face from a Southwest, uh, a Southwest real estate club. Because as I always say, nobody deserves success more than you. You guys are so great. Thank you so much for all the thumbs up and watching my videos and, and the, the lovely, you guys send me such nice texts and I love the comments that you put in there. Um, I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151, unless I'm going out and getting a haircut, God forbid. Um, and um, go to my webpage. I got a lot of free stuff there. And I got my new package at a big discount on, uh, for the next 24 hours on how to overcome sales phone fear. Maybe this guy should, maybe I should send him a free package. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.